Uh, first of all, I wanted to uh, take a moment to dedicate that play to uh, both of my grandfathers, both military men. Uh, this week being Salute to Service Week, and uh, we wear the towels and the and the gloves to to show that appreciation. And um, my uh, maternal grandfather passed uh, about three weeks ago, and uh, it was very emotional for me playing. And it's always emotional playing in the Salute to Service game because they did that so that I can have the opportunity to be a pro football player. So. Um, I want to dedicate that to them, and I wish they could have been here to see it, but I know they're watching from above, and it's something that I, that I really appreciate. And uh, on the sack itself, uh, it's a culmination of the efforts of everyone on this team, the offense making plays, other guys on the defense making plays, us having a great pocket all day, and uh, withstanding surges, I guess, from, from the other team, and uh, finding opportunities like the strip sack to uh, make plays that get us the win today. Uh, who? Steve and me. Oh yeah, uh, nah, yeah. Steve's my guy, man, and uh, I'm just glad that we were able to scoop it. And I mean, when, if you get all the way down to the five, like we should be able to finish those a drive like that, five yards. So I'm just glad that uh, he came out with not a major injury, a minor injury, and uh, that we were able to make a even larger plus out of a strip sack rather than just recovering it. He's uh, he's been a leader to this team. He's been a leader to. Um, to our outside linebacker room, and uh, I'm just glad to be able to have the opportunity to to play with guys like that, humble guys, guys that have uh, fought through a lot to get the opportunity to play this game in the NFL. What are your, what are your, what are your grandfather's names? Um, Eldred Brown, and um, it's been so long since I've seen my paternal grandfather. Eldred Brown is my maternal grandfather, and um, Al Vaughters, Alan Vaughters is my uh, paternal grandfather, yeah. E L D R E D Brown. Yeah. Like, when you get that list and you dedicate that list, did the thought of them go through your head at all after that play? I mean, it's funny, I was thinking about them uh, right before that drive because um, one of my, uh, my first home game active as an NFL player was just was just two years ago and um, I was in Chicago then and that was salute to service week too so every time it's salute to service week I just think about them and uh, think about the them putting in work my grandfather being from rural Alabama my my paternal grandfather being from rural Ohio um, I get the opportunity to be an NFL player when they more or less were were from places that where you don't get that opportunity. So that's a I, th I always think about them when I have this opportunity because you know that's really what it's all about. Me being a representation of my family and uh, yeah. Uh, stop to think about? What do you mean? Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, like, it, like uh, do you um, appreciate kind of the, the uh, journey that, you, like, that you've been on? Uh, uh, absolutely. Just because, you know, like I said, playing with other guys that have done that, and it makes you, it gives you, like, kind of it can be something that you can carry that weighs you down a little bit, but once you get past the weighing down of it and you get to say, actually, what I should do is not think about that, and I should just use that to fuel me and take every play like it's like it's an individual play and I'm trying to win that one. And if I don't win that one, I'm trying to win the next one. It's really not about uh, when you're playing a fast-paced game like football. It's not about uh, it's not necessarily about it taking in like a moment, mo like it literally is a moment, moment. So yeah, I'd say I, I wouldn't say I take it that often, but I'm just glad that you know. I can be around guys that can share that that sentiment, and we all play as a representation of that journey. How important is it kind of learning that, that, that the mindset and having the mindset of kind of what you're talking about, where it's like you know, you use it as fuel to fire, not necessarily as looking at it as a bad thing. Um, I think you notice it in the way you play. Because you, you walk off of off season every year. I, I mean, I had it in the CFL, and I learned so much in the CFL. 
and you bring it down here and it's a different game to a certain extent and you know you if you get stuck in those ways you notice like dang I'm not playing as well I'm not playing as loose I'm playing over aggressive I'm playing anxious and you just got to take a deep breath and uh it's almost like it is like a skill. You take a deep breath and you treat each play individually and you don't you just think about your training, think about your skills. You don't necessarily think of all that weight that you feel like you have to carry with you for all the stuff that, you know, knocks you down that you had to get back up from. James, how do you describe just the, the swings of emotion in the last ten minutes of the game from up eighteen to they take the lead with a minute left to the very next play you guys are right in field goal range? Um I think it comes down to conditioning. To be honest, we uh, condition every day at the end of practice, and it's something that I that I appreciate. Don't like doing, but I appreciate at the in games like this. So, you know, and I appreciate the oxygen on the sideline. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, that is. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.